Oh, welcome to this video for the VW Take Up. That's the model name. It's a Take Up. It's a one litre. It is the uh, 999cc multi-point injection petrol engine. One litre, five speed. As you can see, it's in a lovely bright white colour. It still looks kind of fresh for the year, to be fair. 63 registered vehicle. It still looks quite modern. This vehicle was uh, damage repaired, very light damage repaired, category N. From what we can see, it looks like this front wing has been replaced. So this repair was done almost seven, what about, yeah, seven years ago. Seven years ago in 2015 when the car was just two, two and a half years old, it was damaged. Uh, it was one company owner up to the damage and the lady that's bought this vehicle in 2016 repaired has had it ever since. So she's had it since 2016, which is, Six years, no, five years, five, six, oh, six years, six years, yeah. six years. We're in January now, end of January uh, 2022. So, yeah, she's had it uh, six years. Okay, as you can see, condition is good. Um, there's nothing major to report, really. All the tyres are really, really good because these are the really thin tyres and small tyres. They're very cheap to replace. I think they're about £32 each, brand new last I remember. So these are a, uh, let's see what size these are. These are 14 inch, so 165, 7 tech, 14. So yeah, all four tyres are like brand new to be fair. Okay, so let's look at the uh, condition. That wing mirror is really good. There's no damage there. The windscreen is very clean for the mileage. Very clean, no chips at all on that, no chips or cracks. Got a few odd uh, stone chips on the front bumper there, as you can see, just on this side, really. Uh, nothing else major to report. A little bit of the plastic there is going white, so that plastic, for some reason, it turns a bit white uh, due to heat uh, and time and corrosion, really. It is plastic, it loses its colour. Okay, uh, VW wheel trims, as you can see, or wheel covers. Engine's very, very quiet. Uh, as I was saying, it looks like the uh, driver's side front wing has been replaced. And then you've got a wider shot. Looks like that wing, which was category N non structural damage. So it was only damaged, panel damage, panel that can be replaced, non structural. If, uh, for example, if somebody dented that wing there, damage that, that, believe it or not, would be categorised as a category S structural damage because that part there is part of the structure of the vehicle. You cannot buy that panel there because it was all one and it was all the way up there. So that is part of the structure. So yeah, so for the door, a bumper, a front wing, bonnet, they're all replaceable parts so that would be classed as a non-structural damage, which this one is, non-structural damage. Okay, so it's passed every MOT since 2016. Uh, so obviously there's nothing picked up anywhere from the MOT tester about anything being loose or unsafe, etc. And obviously the ladies tried and tested this vehicle for six years. So you can be assured that whatever it was, it was replaced and it is secure. Okay, so let's go inside. This should be quite a short video because it's such a small car. Uh, this is a very basic vehicle, uh, as in it hasn't got central locking, so it's the manual locking and it's the manual windows and it's the manual wing mirrors as well. So nothing special on this, uh, so no uh, electronic gadgets to go wrong, that's the good side. Uh, very clean as you can see, all the foot pedals and the mats areas are very clean. The steering wheel is a nice chunky three spoke sport style steering wheel. Inside you've got this uh, lovely colour coded dashboard in the bright white as well and then you've got this removable sat nav so this is removable so it just unclips on the back there and removable and it's also got a holder and a case just there so that's the holder there for it and it's got the case which is here so that's the case for it a nice leather case which we you can use as well uh, so it's got the normal uh, heating system it's got the heated rear uh, screen it's got the uh, CD player and the normal radio, and it's also got an aux input port there as well. So we press that. So that all works. 
Okay, the mileage on it, oh, it's just turned, actually, I thought it was 69. It's 70,483. Nice, that's going a bit bad. I am 50 years old this year. So, yes, time for the reading glasses. Okay, so, drinks holder, 12 volt uh, power supply there. A little bit of a shelf there to put your phone on if it fits. Five speed gear lever, lever gator, and brake, and a drinks holder there. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, this vehicle. Best part about this vehicle 20 pound tax. 20 pound a year tax. As you can see there, as you can see there, it has got one uh, former keeper, which was a company there uh, in GU7, wherever that is. Okay, and the lady that's had this vehicle, it says there, 21st of April 2016. That's when she's had it. So the lady owner. And we've got fully documented serviced invoices here as well. So you've got the service invoices here, carry out this, service here, filters, etc. Uh, from this company here called Sutton Service and MOT Centre. Uh, you've got, so another service bill there as well, as well. Uh, even advised it's got a timing belt due to be changed so she did, has got a receipt for the timing belt to be done so she had it done uh, we've got an RAC vehicle check report here as well uh, where are we now it's hard to do it with one hand right okay so that's the vehicle check right what we've got here okay here we go so at 60,000 miles we have got the supply and fit new timing belt kit and aux belt, which was £240 including VAT. So not a bad thing. So that's every 60,000 miles, so that's done. Uh, some more service. The last service was done at 67,000 miles, which was 15th of the 7th. So that's the yearly service. Uh, and she also had the new tyres. You can see it says low tread. Last year she had a new tyres. You can see all four tyres are as good as new. £168 for that. We've got the uh, MOT, oh there it says MOT and tyre replace, £82, so the tyre was, ah, the tyre was £35, so I was right, £32 I guessed, £35 she's paid, uh, and then plus that, obviously the MOT at 40 uh, and that is it, that's the MOT there, it expires 7th of the 11th, 2022, uh, and then that is, that's last year's MOT as well there. And then a service booklet here as well, which is the VW service booklet. It's got all the uh, codes and paint codes. It tells you where the car was registered as well. Uh, it's got the stamps from the VW dealer. So the VW dealer stamps. Uh, this one here, the miles is 10,000 miles. That's a 10,000 mile service from the VW dealer. Uh, one there at 20,000 miles, VW dealer. Then, obviously, after that, it was owned by this lady so it's the same garage since 32,000 miles so 32 another one there a 42 a 52 59 67 and that's it so yeah it's all there so it's full documented service history so all the invoices are there obviously the two the first two from the VW dealer will be on the VW database as well so you can uh, check that with the VW dealers obviously with being a simple one litre injection engine it doesn't take a lot of maintenance at all so I think it's three cylinder as well so it's only three spark plugs right so we're gonna pop the bonnet which is down here and then we can look under the bonnet make sure you're happy what it looks like under there oh, I've got to show you the back seats show you the back seats I've already took both those but there nothing there to show to be fair looks very clean Nothing at all. Backs of the seats are nice. There's nothing there. So let's uh, get under the bonnet and then we'll be done. Right. Okay, so this has got a little tiny bonnet stay, which is there. A little tiny one in that gap there. We've not cleaned under the bonnet, by the way. So it is as it is. Uh, so let's just show you all these inside bits here make sure there's no screws missing anything like that like I say cat end it's just a panel damage and that is it the battery there and you can see the engine three cylinder you can always tell a three cylinder engine because it vibrates because it's just three spark plugs so you've got two put two cylinders going down one going up so it's not equilibrium but that's why they shake 
three-cylinder engine, but insurance companies love them. So insurance companies will always like a three-cylinder engine because it's obviously underpowered. So whoever buys it, especially young drivers, can't go fast. So yeah, that's why they do three-cylinder engines. If it was up to any mechanic, they would they would uh, was it they would delete three-cylinder engines forever. They hate them because they just don't make sense. But they're here. So that's it, it's for the insurance purposes. Okay. Let's walk around this vehicle once more. We do offer part exchange on this vehicle, so if you've got a part exchange, please let us know. We need to know the reg number and the mileage, and we'll give you a rough quote of how much we can give you. This vehicle also comes with one year parts and labour warranty with a warranty company so in the event of anything should go wrong and it is not a wear and tear item part they will obviously replace that part uh, and they will send you to the closest garage to your location so you don't have to come back to us uh, so if you live right at the top of Scotland or even Northern Ireland they cover Jersey anywhere Cornwall right at the bottom you just take it to your closest VAT registered garage and they will obviously diagnose the fault have a discussion with the warranty company, see if it is a sudden me mechanical failure part, and that is covered. Anything to do with wear and tear is not covered. Okay, so that's peace of mind. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and please get in touch soon. Thank you.